good morning dear students this is vanita from triveni public school hope you all are doing good and enjoyed your holidays but now it's time for learning so i welcome you all to the english grammar class in this session we are going to discuss about kinds of nouns in your earlier classes you might have studied about a noun so what exactly is a noun a noun is a word that names a person a place a thing or an idea it names a person a place a thing or an idea in simple words nouns are naming words now look at the picture in this picture you can see it names a person it names a place it names a thing and even an idea but why can't we identify the idea in this picture because ideas are thoughts and cannot be seen those are thoughts that cannot be seen examples ideas include happiness joy pain truth fairness innocence etc now let us see different kinds of nouns first of all we'll study about two basic nouns there are two basic nouns common noun and proper noun where most of the time children are confused between these two nouns so what is a common noun a common noun names a general person place thing or idea it does not refer to something specific so a common noun it is a common name or a general name given to a person place thing or idea when it is not given a specific or a special name to those things it is a common noun but when you give a special or a specific names to those things or persons or animals it becomes a proper noun so names of any class of persons places animals or things are called common nouns so common nouns are common names general names now what is a proper noun a proper noun names a specific person it gives a special name to a person place thing or idea so when you give a spe special name or a specific name to the person place thing or idea it refers to a name of a noun and it becomes a proper noun so in the picture you can see a cat cat is a common noun when you give a special name to the cat zozo it becomes a proper noun and in the picture you can see a house when you give a special name to that house like white house it becomes a proper noun and you can see a thing that that is a shoe when you give a special name or a, the brand given to the shoe, brand name given to the shoe like nike it becomes a proper noun so proper nouns when you give a special name to those things or persons or places or animals it become a proper noun some more examples i'll give girl girl is a common noun when you give a special name to that girl like meera it becomes a proper noun when you give a special building building is a common name when you give a special name to that building academic building i am giving a name to that building academic it becomes a proper noun school school is a common name when you give a special name to the school triveni public school it becomes a proper noun students students 
is a common name when you give a special name to those students it becomes a proper noun teachers teachers it is teacher is a common name when you give a special name to the teacher like ganga or leela it becomes a proper noun dentist dentist doctor teacher these are all common names when you give a special name to those doctor teacher if you give a name special or specific name to those persons it becomes a proper noun remember a proper noun always begins with a capital letter so keep in mind a proper noun always begins with a capital letter now let us further go for some more kinds of nouns that is concrete and abstract nouns in addition to common and proper nouns there are also concrete and abstract nouns so what are concrete nouns concrete nouns are nouns that you can see hear touch smell or taste so these nouns that can be seen physically so that you can see physically are known as concrete nouns where you can see where you can hear touch smell taste are concrete nouns examples bench teacher hen dentist kittens people you can see them you can hear them so these are all concrete nouns what are abstract nouns then abstract nouns are nouns that you cannot see you cannot hear you can't touch you can't smell or taste you can't see physically they are ideas qualities and feelings that cannot be seen or touched they cannot be seen physically those are abstract nouns so abstract nouns are those nouns that you cannot see you cannot hear touch smell or taste these are all abstract nouns for example responsibility fairness justice truth bravery innocence all these are abstract nouns now let us classify these nouns in the slide you can see there are some nouns you should classify them into common nouns concrete nouns abstract nouns and proper nouns so bike bike is a common or a concrete noun yes bike is both common and concrete noun because bike you can see you can touch so it is a concrete and it is also a common noun because you have not given any brand name for that bike so it is a common name so common both bike is a common and concrete noun scissors planet desk judge dollar city snow all these are common and concrete nouns you can see you can touch and it is a common name general name so it is a common and concrete noun now proper noun jupiter here you are given a name specific special name to that planet as jupiter so it's a proper name proper noun christian islam roaring spring so you are given a special name you are given a specific name to those things or persons so it is a proper noun justice friendship these are abstract nouns you can't see physically you can't touch but you can feel those are thoughts also ideas also so those are abstract nouns now let